guys, it's it in the morning. Uh, it's about quarter to seven. On my way up now, I've got some springtails to rebuild Luke's colony because he um, he unfortunately lost a heap of his. Um, and I've also I just brought this along just to take up, give him a bit of a other idea of what I do. So I'll um, check back in with you. guys here we are at uh, Luke's place and I'm going to show you how to install his background no point showing you this because you can't see what it is anyway but it's um it's just sick effect um, you can use it because it doesn't have any smells it's natural curing and it will stick pretty well instantly I'm gonna where are those blocks gone now we made this one a bit smaller um, just because it wasn't sitting, so it wasn't sitting in the substrate. So we just got these couple of blocks here that we're going to sit the actual background up and on. And we're just going to do, I'm going to put it on the board itself so that I know that it gets a solid seal on the back. All right, I'm just going to do a bead around the very outside of this, staying probably five, 10 mil down so you get no spew out. Um, I'm just going to do a solid bead around the outside so that if anything does get into the back, it's not going to get into the foam. Um, something you can do also is actually to run your backing or your pointing down over the edge a little bit just to give that bit of extra protection, but um, generally it's going to be all right. So we'll just get some of this on here and we've already test fitted this into the enclosure and it does fit, so that's a promise positive, sorry. Keep sunny down, aren't they? Alright, that's it. So I'll move you back over there so we can see what we're doing again. But make sure you don't get this stuff on your hands. It's very sticky and it doesn't come off very easily. So same goes for the sides of your enclosures and things like that. If you're trying to feed it in and that, if you get it on, you want to use methyl or something straight away to get it off. It's like, yeah, don't push on it too hard. <laughs> That's it. That's that part of it done. I'm gonna start putting everything back in. Yeah. That's sick. That's wicked. And that should be enough just to keep it up. Yeah. Oh yeah, this stuff here, now that that's stuck, if you tried to pull that off, you'd be like pulling the enclosure out, even though it's not even.
doesn't know what's going on. Here we are back home. It's been about two hours since I left Luke's place. Uh, frogs are doing well so far. And here they are. Get them back into their new home. Hopefully they jump in there nicely without jumping everywhere, but. Whoop, there goes one. Hiding out there. Number two, this one's a bit chunky. Come on. Here we go. And the last little one down here. Come on. <laughs> How cool is that? Can't wait to see these guys uh, jumping around at night and catching some stuff and things like that. It's gonna be awesome. I'm very appreciative to Luke for this and had a awesome day talking reptiles and installing the background and things like that with Luke today. It's been great and uh, potentially in the future there could be something else going on, another background for him or something like that. I'm sure you'll see his stuff on his channel a bit more. Um, I'll leave you there. Thanks for watching this far, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll be back in a few days with uh, the start of a new build. So, there you go.